Hey guys, welcome back to Avori, and now featuring the Discovery Mark II. Today is gonna be a glorious day, because we're gonna be finishing up the visual design of the ship, and I'm very sorry, like, I need to uh, quickly note that this is the sick, uh, like, this is the third episode in a row that I'm recording today, so if in the previous episode you were giving me uh, suggestions on how to make this uh, thing look presentable, it's already too late. Like, this episode has already been made. So, you know, don't don't get upset if I don't listen to you. It's not on purpose. It's just that since I release these episodes twice a day, there's just no way I can, you know, stop working in the middle of the day and, you know, do the thing. And we are back. And we have battle music playing. Oh, that's why. What are you doing here? Get out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. No one asked you. More torpedoes. Boosh. So what's up with you? There is absolutely nothing you can do to me. You just need to fuck off. Yeah, fucking thought so. See, I know for a fact that this thing isn't powerful yet, but the, the the it's just the fact that it already has a shield. So, it can actually do a surprising amount of damage. I just need to populate it with turrets that shoot on their own. If that makes any sense. And yeah. And as already said, today we're going to finish up building this thing up, because while I like topless women and pictures, I don't think that flying around without any sense of armor is a good idea. And so, that is exactly what we're going to do today. I'm going to be using the mirror tool for this. It should be fine. First of all, we're going to start with something like this. Just huge, industrial, thick plates. They're going to be protecting the ship overall. And we're going to make sure that they kind of go over like this. And one can be like this. And the one over here can be a little bit smaller, but at the same time, a little bit for, for, further forward, like so. Now, we're not going to forget about the crew quarters. We probably don't want to have those exposed. So over here, it is just going to have thick plates like this. I have a good idea how to make this thing interesting to watch, but it also kind of requires me to put plates on top of plates. So, kind of like this. Kind of looks like horse blinders when you think about it, but that is not really the reason why it's there. Now we're going to set the scale step to be a lot smaller. 
and we are going to use much thinner plates to cover everything that is exposed. Something like this. It's gonna look like it has like these sequential layers of armor, and it it it, it really does work like that, I guess. Okay. Something like this. Okay, that overlaps. I don't want that to happen. There we go. Next, I want to make sure that this place is covered. And this should be fine. I wonder if this influences it. Again, the idea is that we need to kind of cover it. Hmm. Let's use a mirror for this. Oh, wow. Whoops. That is a little bit too much. Okay, like this. And from here... We can continue it like this. And now it just leaves the front. I kind of wonder if there's any super weapons in the game. Because I kind of want to have a forward cannon, something like that. It has to go over here, I guess. Does it? Okay, something like that. That looks presentable. Something like this. And in here, we are going to add an energy container. Because frankly, I forgot to put that down. And that is a sort of a thing that we need. Something like this. There you go. Probably not the sort of high grade, high tech item you want in the nose of your ship. <laughs> uh, but, you know. Space science! It's gonna be just fine, don't worry about it. Okay, that, that looks kinda dumb. out. I ran out of the fucking thing. It's almost done. I just need to cover the bottom of it a little bit more. Yeah, this looks like a big shippy now. I'm going to do the integrity field generator thing before I decide to, you know, paint it. Better to do it now. 
Something like this. I just need to wait for these guys to actually go and mine up more, um... No, not Neonite, come on. Stop fucking with me, come on, dude. Go for this thing. I can't specifically point it at an asteroid. It doesn't work that way. I'm sad to see. Okay, so, by the way, now we have that um, energy bypass thing, like the en uh, engine bypass thing. Look at our top speed without using the boost. Frankly... I have a feeling this item kind of breaks the game. Because it makes getting out of trouble remarkably easy. I know it actually doesn't, but it sure feels cheap. Where are you two going? You're... you're... St stope. You're... you're... St stop doing the thing. Yes, I know I'm controlled by a player. I'll need to, like, point them at the... point them so that they follow me. And when we're next to these asteroids, I'm going to assign the mining command, and then they're just going to do their thing. I hope. I wonder if a changing color is in order. Are you coming? Yes, yes you are. I guess I'll just make the front very simplistic. How the fuck did you get so far away and now you have to spend all that time getting back? You're supposed to mine these things! Oh! I just realized we, we, what well, we can use the Space Miata for. It's kind of obvious, now we don't really need a scout, right? <laughs> we are plentifully armored for that to not be an issue anymore. Uh, so, yeah. All three of you just mine. There you go, just, just give me that trinium, fam. Now the amazing thing is that this thing handles just so well. For its size, anyway. I guess the hard part right now is just the fact that we don't really have good weapons. Oh! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11 slots. The only problem is that some turrets take up multiple slots, so it doesn't really count. So, got a little bit, little bit of neonite. So that's gonna be something like this. Ha 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 ha. 
Yeah, I'm just having fun right now. Yeah, that looks a little bit too much like a beak. But I guess that's not really an issue, is it? Yeah, that 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 looks dumb. It needs a bridge. <laughs> I'm sorry, it needs it, it just needs a bridge. Fuck. I need more! More Neonite, come on! More Trinium, I mean. My battleship needs a bridge! This is silly. Oh wow, you are far away. What are you doing over there? Yeah, it tends to do this sometimes. I'm not exactly sure why it does that. Like, it, it cannot find a suitable asteroid and so it just flies into the distance like a dumbass. It's like, what is this? This is ni- This is mineable? Hey, Jeffrey! Is this fucking asteroid not good enough for you? Fucking cunt! Hello everyone, mobile merchant! Yes, come to me, my son. I want to peek inside you. Show me what you got! I don't want to accidentally you, but that might be a thing, so... Where do I have the most turrets? Thrusters? Here, I guess. I will try to not damage you in the face. Honestly, you don't really have anything. You are not noteworthy. Okay, you guys can just follow me. And I guess the last thing that I'm going to quickly add here is the crew quarters. I'd love to actually look up how normal battleship crew quarters look. But, like... I'm already half half tempted to just make this episode into you know one of the non essential for watching episodes. this.
There we go. There we go, guys. Hmm. Fact checked. Integrity fuel generator. Aha! I knew it! Fucking knew it. Jackasses. Uh, I'd like to look under you. And now I can paint it. I wonder what will... How does it look like this? Okay, this is where the mirror is probably going to be very helpful. color I need. Yeah, good enough for now. Alright. And off home we go. To buy new turrets, deck this thing out, and the next episode we're gonna go clean out that pirate infestation.